All right, let's go Frosty the Snowman. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. How did I get through that? That was insanity. What is this challenge rift? Why is it crazy? What is this? That was, that was a nuts one. This is big brain time. Oh, um, okay. I love ground pounding into poison. Why would they put poison underneath at the bottom of a pit? Okay, I'll just take all my health damage. Oh my goodness. A cursed chest in toxic sewers? Yes, please. There's nothing more nerve-wracking than running with two curse above your head, but you can't find a single enemy. I know. Oh, I see two enemies. Let's go. They're just they're just birds. Let's go. Curse lifted. Woo! Full concentration mode. That's how I feel. Yes, I made it through the challenge rift without getting hit. That's that's what we want. Concierge time. You're not gonna win before me. Hey, I'm making better time. Oh! Oh my god. I forgot to switch out to my other weapon. That was almost detrimental, holy crap. Okay. Another challenge rift. I've gotten one in every single place and I got a cursed chest in the uh, toxic sewers. That's what happened to me on my run the very, like, when I almost beat him. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding. Oh, survived that somehow. And I'm stupid. It's okay, because there's food infected with malaise that I can eat. Honestly, I, I'm i going to be honest, malaise doesn't feel like it does anything. It definitely does. It's it, just that we never let it get high enough it, it's to do anything. Like, the highest I've ever had it get to was like three bars, and that even wasn't that bad. Like it was, No, it gets, bad once, it gets bad once you get up to like four bars. Yeah, but it's never going to get to four bars. I mean, maybe unless, I mean, we're also doing like the easiest route. Maybe if we were doing like more difficult areas, it would be tougher. Uh, like I said, it, like the thing about Malaise is that it just spawns random enemies in a pool of enemies that it can spawn. Yeah, but... It doesn't but... spawn them based on the area that you're in, so... I know, yeah, but if you're in bigger areas, it takes longer to clear. Plus, the reason why it doesn't seem like it's that bad is because by the time, if your malaise does ever get that high, by the time it is that high, you usually already be able to one-shot everything. 
I find it crazy how you do bosses without having a shield. Because I'm god tier. Now that's just lame though. No. Shields are cool. I just, I just know how to dodge all their attacks. I don't need a shield. Shields are for wimps. Shields are cool. I'll let you believe that. I do believe that. Speaking of malaise getting to four bars, my malaise is at four bars now. <laughs> no! Crap! Oh, come on. What happened? I whiffed one attack and because of that, I died. You died? Let's go. <laughs> I'm such a good friend. I, I wish death upon you, Tristan. Thank you. All the more reason- Anytime. All the more reason to win on this run. How is the malaise not cleared yet, bro? I'm gonna reach five. That's so funny. I swear, I should just never talk because as soon as I say something, the opposite of what I want to happen happens. Yeah, that sounds about right. Like, of course, I was like, oh, malaise isn't that bad. And what am I at? Four malaise. I mean, it's still not that bad, though. <laughs> John. What? What do you mean, John? Do you mean skill? I'm watching. It wasn't too bad. I got cornered and got flipped. Oh well, I'll take it. I'll take it. I love Stilt Village. This is one of my favorite maps, to be honest. It's easy. It's easy, that's why I like it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what is happening? Oh, I don't want to go to the bank. I'm sorry. I'm I refuse. I don't need more money. I'm oh, not greedy. I, I, no, no, no. I when it's the clock tower, I always take the bank over the clock tower. Why? Because the enemies there are really easy, and then taking the bank is just a lot easier because of the routing. I think the clock. I enjoy the clock tower. It's one of my favorite areas. And plus, I think the clock tower is pretty easy just in general. It is, but I mean, I don't know. I when I went on my winning run, I took the clock, I took the bank instead of the clock tower. The only thing I don't like about the clock tower is the the random like spike balls. I have to be like really careful not to run into the the spike balls. That's yeah. like the only reason I get hurt in this area. Ah! As I literally almost run into a spike ball. I swear! Graham, or Longhead, please tell me to stop talking. Stop talking. Ah! 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 <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> please stop it. Alright. Boss time. Woo! You wanna know what would be really funny? If I was about to go to the clock room to fight the timekeeper, but then it says go to the bank question mark, and every single enemy is just the the timekeeper. Time <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Oh. Oh my god, why is this so impossible? That was a lot tougher of a battle than last time. I didn't lose too much HP though, so it's fine. 
Okay, High Peak Castle. Don't choke it. This area is like a choke point for some reason. Even though it's like pretty easy. Bro, it's so easy. I don't know what you're going on about. Oh, you get hit by one enemy and then it's Jover. Am I wrong? If you're getting hit by one enemy, then you're already not doing good enough. Exactly. Malay's cleared already. That's it's crazy how fast the malaise clears in the castle. I know. Okay, I've prepared for this battle. I know what to do. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Nice. I got scared for a moment there, but it was it was all good. All right. And now we leave, right? <laughs> Astrolab. Those guys carrying the target dummies are like <laughs> atrocious when they randomly like they start randomly protecting an enemy right before I engage with them. Especially the giant birds. My malaise is spawning things. Yeah. It starts spawning things at two. Yeah. That's not good. Not when I'm in the tower. I think this might be it, Longhead. Oh, yeah. This might be it. Okay, platforming. Okay, that did not go quite as well as I wanted to, but it's fine. Here we go. Got my shield ready. My panchaku. Let's do this. For the first time, will I beat will I beat Longhead in this race to five boss cells? Let's see. He's gonna steal all my cells. I worked so hard to gather them. Here we go, here we go. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm going to be ready for his ground pounds, his attacks, and whatsoever. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to drink. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Oh my goodness, he's in a stun lock. He's in a stun lock. What's he doing? Drinking? No way, no way. Ah! 
Bro, I, I drank it. There we go. Oh, let's go. Finally. It's completed. What have you done, moron? I've been trying to save this wretched kingdom. Save it from an ass like you. I gave him the little stick finger. Oh, we're all in deep now. And him. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Finally. At last, it's over. What a waste. A, pa a panacea. It looks like it's working. My skin seems to be fading. Is this the end? No, I'm melting. I'm melting. This kingdom may be damned to eternity, but at least I won't be stuck here with it. Farewell. Anytime now. No, he can't die. No. The lore goes crazy. Let's go. And we're back. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.